two contestants enter. One contestant leaves. The other contestant leaves slightly later after being crowned the champion. This is a really dramatic trivia show. We have our two contestants today. We have Dante and we have Rachel. The rules of the game are simple. Each contestant will be given five trivia questions by their opponent. The person with the most correct answer wins. Each contestant will also have the opportunity to use two of their three lifelines to help them out along the way. 50-50, where the other contestant will remove two options. Ask Johnny, where they can ask me, the host, for a clue. Or phone a friend, where they can call anyone from their contacts to help them out. I'm ready to rock and roll. All right. Perfect. I wish you two good luck. Thank you. I'll start with you. Put the pressure on. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah, very Question ready. one. What is the oldest tennis tournament in the world? A, Wimbledon. B, U.S. Open, C, Australian Open, D, French Open. I'm gonna, all right. I'm gonna go A, Wimbledon. Correct. I had to trust my gut there. What is the capital of Croatia? <laughs> Oslo, Zagreb, Bern, or San Marino? 50-50. It's either B, Zagreb, or D, San Marino. Both B. Correct. I pulled that one out of my All right. ass. There you go. See, we're just pulling things out of our ass right now. We're having a good time. All, All right, right. Let's do this. This one is the state motto one. Okay. The state motto is, under God, the people rule. Is that state A, South Dakota, B, Maryland, C, Oklahoma, D, Kansas? Can you repeat the uh, motto again? Under God, the people rule. I'm gonna go B, Maryland. No, South Dakota. Yeah, I wasn't gonna guess that one. <laughs> That's all right. How long does a game of rugby league football last? Oh, fuck. A, 80 minutes, B, 40 minutes, C, 100 minutes, or D, 60 minutes? Should have gone to the rugby games at school. <laughs> um, go with 80. You're right. You're Lucky. right. You're right. It's like 100 oh seems a little too long. Gosh. 60 seems a little too short. 80 is a sweet spot. Yeah. Um, this one's a fun question. <laughs> <laughs> what color is the tongue? Wait. What color is the tongue of a giraffe? Green, yellow, red, black. <laughs> What? <laughs> a giraffe has a different colored tongue. This is a fun one. Okay. Um, what, what were the colors again? A, green. Uh huh. B, yellow. C, red. D, black. Come on, gotta think back to your zoo trips. <laughs> yeah, my zoo trips. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use a uh, a Johnny hint yeah. or a Casey hint. Uh, don't be. Don't just pull something out of your ass. I need a good hint here. So go get Johnny. Because I can't do 50-50 because that's not going to help me. I, well, because the ones I would give you for 50-50 aren't going to help. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all those are just baffling to me. So the f I actually know this really? one, which... Do you? Yes. Help me out, Johnny. You helped me out last mm -hmm. time. Don't help him out, Johnny. <laughs> right now. Come all on. Right. So your clue. Yes. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to ask you this hint. You're going to ask me this I'm hint? I'll tell you this hint. Um... There's a condition called hairy tongue, which will turn your <laughs> tongue this color, mm -hmm. as well as in, uh, some uh, over-the-counter drugs when mixed with sulfur will turn your tongue <laughs> this color. It's the only color I can give you. What are the colors again? Green. Yep. Yellow. Yep. Red. Black. Oh my fucking gosh. Uh, you can get it from a, a con. From Come on, this has to be like 30 seconds here. All right, well, um, I'm gonna go uh, okay. yellow, final answer. No, it's black. What the f a black tongue? It has, it's uh, yeah, not, I, I don't think that. it's actually all black. I think a giraffe has like spotted black it's on like their black, tongue. black and then it's also purplish blue. What yeah. in the but world? I yellow. didn't pay attention when I went to the zoo when I was a zoo. kid. Ready? No. <laughs> Question three. What is the only fruit in which the seeds grow on the outside of its skin? A, strawberry, B, kumquat. There's a kumquat. <laughs> C, gooseberry. I don't even 
know what that is. Or D, bilberry. Uh, I, strawberries, because the seeds are on the outside of it. God damn it. But I have no idea what any yeah, of those no, are. That was, ones yeah, are. yeah, that was, All yeah. Right, so there I have three. three. And I have one. Woohoo, I won. Yay. No, wait, not, not yet. I, I can. I okay. can. Ca I don't right. have confidence Pressure's in Pressure's on here. All right, let's do And this. you've used the one. The hint, yeah. yeah. In what decade did Reggie Jackson win five World Series champions? Championships, sorry. 1990s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I gotta get this right. Keep going. I'm gonna go 50 50. 70s or 80s? Oh my God. Those were the two I was <laughs> thinking of, too. Uh, Reggie Jackson, Reggie Jackson, my guy Reggie, RJ. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go 80s, final answer. No! no! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! All right, we'll finish it out. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. When did the Toronto Blue Jays make their debut in the MLB? I don't know these things. That's a question for any other person here. I, the, 1977, 1972, 1982, or 1987? I still have a... F Wait, what did I already use? I used You a... used the 50-50. Okay, you want to say them all again? Yeah. In 1977, 1972, 1982, and 1987. 72. Incorrect. 77. All right. At least I was in the 70s. Yeah, you were in the ballpark. Yeah, there you one. go. All right, last question. Which of the following elements is not a noble gas? Neon, rate, radon, boron, helium. I'm so sorry. You gotta say all those again. I, all right. that, that's all just gibberish to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which of the following elements is not a noble gas? Okay. Neon, radon, boron, helium. <laughs> uh, B. Whatever B is. Uh, radon. No, it is boron. Yeah, there was just no shot. I was getting that. That's fine. All right. Okay. Last question all right. for all the marbles. Who won a Nobel Prize for his work in quantum theory and atomic structure? Niels, Niels, Niels Bohr, this is the one I told you I was going to struggle in with the pronunciations, okay. Carl Roman Apt, Larry Page, or Lucien Olivier? Um, what was the Nobel Prize for? Quantum theory and atomic structure. Okay, I'll take a Johnny hint. Johnny hint? I mean, I know I already won, but no, I'm actually curious to see no, what he comes fine. up with. No, that's fine. Quantum theory. Quantum theory. Yeah, know yes. anything about him? He was born in Denmark, and he won it in 1922. Uh, How's that for him? Do you want to give me the last names? Bohr, Apt, Page, and Olivier. Both D. Incorrect. It's Bohr. Mm, Niels Bohr. That. It's all right. So is that it? That's it. That's it. We got a winner. Congratulations, Congratulations Rachel. Thank you. Good luck next round. Thank Post you. Interview real quick. Oh boy, here we go again. You're in the finale. How does that yes. feel? Uh, I'm, I'm sweating a little bit, a little I'm nervous. nervous. <laughs> so the finale should be fun. It's me, you, and Big Mike. Oh boy. So, viewers, come back next week for the grand finale of a really dramatic trivia show. <laughs> Thank you.